Hello and welcome to In Awe of Elohim. Happy Sabbath, my precious children. Happy Sabbath, all my missing children. On this Sabbath night, as I think about my children, my four children, Joseph, Faith, Kaylee, Michaela, and all my other missing children that the Lord Yeshua has given to me in this ministry that he has given me in awe of Elohim. I am reminded through the word of God that he is the one who makes intercession for us. I am reminded that it is he who is my refuge. It is he who is my in my habitation, meaning I dwell in his presence. I dwell under the shadows of his wings. He is like unto the great hen that covers her chicks with her wings. He is likened unto a hen, a mother hen. I am a mother. My father, Yahweh, saw it fit to give me four children as his inheritance. And so today, this Sabbath day, March the 15, 2024, I thank the Lord that he is my refuge, that he is my children's refuge, that we dwell under the shadows of his wings. And because we are his children, he loves us, he guides us, he protects us. And whatsoever he has spoken, it shall come to pass. The Lord is not slack. As I retired to my room this evening, my heart and my mind goes back to the days and the Sabbaths when my four children, Joseph and Faith and Kaylee and Addie and I would gather to worship the Lord and I would say to my children, name me one good thing <laughs> that happened to you on this past week. And my children would begin to think and sometimes they would try to jostle to see who would go first. And I know Joseph, he, would, he was always excited to go first. Joseph is my son. Today as I picked up my phone, I saw a photograph of my precious son, Joseph. And I'm going to show, show you that photograph of my son. There's my son, Joseph. Uh, that was on his ninth birthday, his ninth birthday in 2019. I have my finger over uh, a, a friend's daughter. But that was, that was my son. That was my son, Joseph on his ninth birthday. And I took that photo, he was looking at his mother, me. My son has been taken, stolen from me almost three full years. Today is March 15th, like I said before. I have not been allowed to see my son by a bunch of seeds of the serpent, lawyers, judges, social workers, teachers, uh, child therapists, lying tongue wretches. But today, a 
as I come on this ministry that the Lord Yeshua has given me, he reminded me today as I sat in the government office and as I waited on paperwork, I was reminded of Psalms 91. And as I began to recite Psalms 91, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. Oh, praise God, the Lord had me to rest on verse 9. I'm going to read to you what it says in verse 9. My precious children, hear ye the word of the Lord. It says, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even my, even the most high, thy habitation, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Let me just say something to you, my son Joseph. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is your refuge, even the most high, your habitation, the Lord will do what he has shown your mother that he will do. And the time is coming, my dear son Joseph, my precious baby girl Faith, my precious baby girl Faith. Faith, at this time, you were not yet even one. You were not yet one. There's a side picture of your sister, Kaylee, holding you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a picture of my precious baby Faith. Here is a picture of my precious baby girl Faith. Doesn't matter, God has a sense of humor. Doesn't matter what the seeds of the devil have done. What God speaks and what God says to me, his woman servant, he will do. There is my precious baby Faith. It has been almost three years and I haven't seen my precious baby Faith. She has not heard my voice. She probably has forgotten what I look like. But there's a song I love. It says, God has not forgotten. God has not forgotten. God has not forgotten. He knows my name, name, name. He knows my name, name, name. God has not forgotten. God has not forgotten. God has not forgotten. He knows my name, name, name. Let me tell you something, Joseph and Faith. I have not forgotten. I know that the wretched seeds of the devil has told you that I am dead, but here am I. I am live and in living color. And those who have abused you, those who have stolen you, those who have created gross, insipid injustice against you and against your mother and your older sisters, Ooh, it's about to be like I speak to my father. The Lord is not slack. The Lord is no respecter of person. Let me tell you, Joseph, let me tell you something, Faith. Let me tell you something, all my missing children. I want you to read 1 Corinthians chapter 14. It speaks about the gifts of the Spirit. And I want you to read, in fact, I will read Romans 8 verse 34 for you. Because before 
I read Romans 8 verse 34, I want to show you uh, what the Lord has shown me. Um, uh, and you know what? The Lord says, my daughter, everyone that I called, I give them a new name. Every one of my servants that I have chosen for a, 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 a mighty work, he said to me, I gave Peter a new name. I gave Paul a new name. He said to me, I've given you a new name. He gave Abram a new name. He was no longer called Abram. He gave Jacob a new name. When God calls you, my precious son, my precious daughters, uh, uh, Joseph, uh, Faith, Kaylee and Addie, when the Lord God calls you, he will give you a new name. The Lord God has spoken to me and he has given me a new name. He has given me a new purpose. So now, my precious children, I will go before the throne of my father, before the throne of your father, because we are children of the seed of Abraham. We are of the tribe of Jacob. We are of the tribe of Israel. Because of Romans chapter 8 and verse 34, because we are brothers and sisters of the Lord Yeshua, the Lord Jesus Christ. So today, my precious son, my precious daughters, all my missing children in these great United States and around the world, those wretched groups in Nigeria that has kidnapped over 300 children. The Lord is about to do a thing. Today is, is, is seven days since you have kidnapped these precious children. But in seven more days, you shall see the hand of the Lord upon you, wretched seeds of the devil. I have asked my father to do what I know that he will do. And in seven days, you will see the hand of the Lord upon your necks. Oh my God, the mountain of the Lord will crush you like the serpents you are. So, on today, my precious children, eight days before the Lord answers, eight days, I will tell you and I will show you what thus saith the Lord. I will go before my Father, and the reason I can go before my Father is because I have the blood of his Son upon my hands, my Lord Yeshua, my Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior, Lord God, my High Priest. I have his blood upon my heart, and I have his blood upon my hands. So I go before the throne of God with clean hands and a pure heart. I have no qualms with the seeds of the devil, but that's how the devil works. When he cannot harm a child of God, he goes after their heritage, after their inheritance. But after a season, the Lord said instantly, suddenly, in an instant, suddenly, you will see the hand of the Lord upon your neck, all scorpions, all dragon, all lion, all crow of the Lord, all wretched adder. You shall see the hand of the Lord upon your necks, on clean seeds of the Philistines. So, my precious children, on today, Eight days before the Lord does what he has told his woman servant, I want to go before him and I want to thank him. Father, great and mighty Yahweh, there is no one like you. No one, Lord, can comprehend the wonders and the majesty of your power. No one can comprehend the depth of your love. No one can comprehend the heights of your judgment. 
No one can comprehend the ways of justice when it comes to the Creator. No one can comprehend what you are capable of. But Father, as I came off the fast, an Esther fast, on last Saturday, Lord, you showed up in the in the heavens in the third heavens and in your elements lord you used your own elements lord to show your woman servant what it is that you should do and father all i could do is stand in awe as the ministry is so rightfully named in awe of elohim as I see your glory, and as I heard your voice, and as I see you, Lord God, Father, I just give you the praise, because I know that you're worthy of all praise. I know that you are Yahweh, and I know, Lord God, that you deserve all praise. All honor belongs to you, Father. So today on the Sabbath, I just thank you, Lord, for sparing my life. I thank you, Lord God, that you are my refuge. Even the Most High Yahweh is my habitation, is my son's habitation, is my daughter's habitation, is all my missing children's habitation. And so, Father, vile, wretched seeds of the devil, vile, wretched seeds of the serpent. And Lord God, you have said in your word, Lord, that the wicked does not sleep unless he causes one to fall. But tonight, Lord, we stand because we come to the mount of the Lord, to Mount Horeb. We come by the blood, we come by the word, and we come by the spirit. Bosha tata roko mashata sakanasha yanya namana koshoto manaka hakasho roko rakashata bosha rakashata satakotno rokosha mashakata yashua e e e ya yashakana yashua masha kata rakana aya ayaka mana sha yashua ya ya e ya aya kana Mana Yeshua, get your glory, Lord, on the glory, on your power, O oh, Lord God Almighty, get your glory, get your exaltation, get your majesty, get your honor, Lord God, upon the Philistine giant of Goliath of God, get your glory, Lord, upon the Hagarenes, <laughs> upon the Ammonites, and and upon the Moabites, upon the, oh God, the Perizzites, Lord God, upon the inhabitants, oh God, of, of Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, get your glory, Father. There is nothing you cannot do. I'm reminded of the song, Lord, that says, there is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing too hard for you. There is nothing you cannot fix, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. There is nothing you cannot do. Hallelujah. Nothing's too Yashua, hey ya na mana na, hey Yashua, get your glory. Rabba koshoto, rakashata, ratatata, busha ramakashata. Yashua, robo kosho makashata. Yashua, ya ya ya, mashakata, ayana koshoto, roko masha kashata ya, akana ayamana ya. 
Kasha, Mosho Kote, Yana, Sharakanda, Ayakura, Roko, Maka, Shata, Bosharaka, Shata, Yanani, Shike, Anamako, Roko Sho, Ramaka, Shata, Yashua, Hey, 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 ya, ya, hey, ya, ya, hey, ya, ya, hey, hey, ya, ya, hey, ya, ya. We come by the blood. Me say we come by the word. Me say we come by the spirit. Any ajiroba come a ba 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 mi leji. Any ajiroba come a ba 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 mi lejo. Because I get back, you know. I don't they walk alone. I walk with God the Father, walk with God the Son, I walk with host of angels, all of them join. I get back in all. I don't they walk alone. Oh, praise God. Let me go. Thank you, Father. Emela, emela. Oh, ye kaka. Oh, ye kirua. Emela, emela, ezimo. My precious children. I'm going to turn to Romans chapter Romans chapter 8 and verse 34. I'm reading from the King James Version. Hear ye the words of the Lord. It says, Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen, risen again, who is even at the right hand of Yahweh. Oh, praise God. Hey, yeah. Who also maketh intercession for us? Oh, praise God. So, my precious son, my precious daughters, what this word is saying, Romans 8 verse 34, who is he that condemneth? Who in the world, who in God's green and brown planet can condemn me. Which wretched judge, which wretched, which wretched lawyer, which wretched lodge man, which wretched lodge woman, which wretched teacher, which wretched child therapist, which wretched social worker, who in God's green earth condemns you? The Lord said, it is Christ that died. Paul his name was changed to Paul before he was Saul. It says, it is Christ that died. That's what Paul said. Yea, rather that live, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God. Let me tell you something. This is why I know there is a God who also maketh intercession for us. So when I go before my father and I say, Father, the Philistine are coming to thine inheritance. And the Lord said, I have gone down and I have seen the affliction and I have heard the cries of my children, Joseph and Faith, and I am now come down to see this affliction which the Philistines and the Egyptians afflict my children. And the Lord said, what would you have me to do? It is he who condemneth. And I say, Lord, thy will be done as it is in heaven. Let it be done on earth. I want to read for you. And then I want to show you the true story that supports the words of the Lord. This was written on March 13 in the year of the Lord 2024, but this came to pass on the third day of my Esther fast. My oldest daughter said to me, Mom, don't you come back here looking all thin. 
And I said, baby girl, you know the Lord keeps me. So I will be exactly like he wants me to be. So on day three of Esther fast, which was March 9, 2024, as the Sabbath drew to a close, I went out into the yard to look at the sunset. I was observing a cloud which appeared as a hand with a crescented summit. And I will show you the picture. The, the, the text I wrote said, see image number 2024-0309. Let me turn to that image. Any Ojiroba Kome? Because I get back, you know, I don't they walk alone. The, the photo doesn't do it justice, but I'm hoping you can see it. Um, let me see here. So um, it's, it's a little, it's too light, um, but let me see if I can get it. I just the right angle. I'm a little sleepy, pardon me. Um, uh, Father, the devil don't want this photo to show because, see, he's mad. He's mad because you're about to do what you said. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can show it at an angle. Okay, but I know it's hard to see, but, oh, my God, the devil is a liar. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see what thou say the Lord. All right. Now let's see here. Okay, Father. What say you, my Father? What say you? See? All right. So there it is. Thank you, Father. So you may be able to make out a little glimpse of it, but all right. Not, not the one above, the one below. The one below is really... Um, what I needed to focus on this right here which is the cloud with the crescented summit yes crescented summit the devil is mad so he's doing whatever he can to not make the image appear before you but you will see it soon my dear you will see it soon oh my god oh my god anyways um what it was, as you can use your imagination, it was a cloud which looked like the, the formation of, of a hand. And I'm going to find an image that looks like it. I'm going to find an image that looks like it. Um, or when you get a chance, go to, go to Google, go to Dr. Google and type in Mount Horeb, Mount Horeb. Mount Horeb is called the mountain of God. Mount Horeb, all right, let's see. We might be able to get this picture um, up so you can see what I'm referring to, Mount Horeb, blood of Jesus Christ. So, my dear, my dear children, here is what Mount Horeb looks like, all right? So, the photo that I took resembled Mount Horeb in the sky, made out of the clouds. So, I'll continue reading. I took several shots to keep as the cloud was replicating the mountain of God, Mount Horeb. It was up on Mount Horeb that Yahweh met with Moses at the beginning of his calling. And you can read about it in Exodus chapter 3 and verses 1 and 12. Mount Horeb is the rock upon which Yahweh stood when Moses smote the rock and water came forth. So the children of Israel, at the start of my, of my conversation, I shared with you that... Um, that we are children of Israel, we're descendants from, from Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. So the children of Israel may drink water and not faint. Oh, praise God. As I turn to leave, 
I heard the voice of God say, and in fact, I'm hearing the Spirit of God say something to me right now. Ooh, because I told you I was on an Esther fast, and on day three, I first, I first, and the Holy Ghost just said to me, Grace, I am standing upon Mount Horeb. I told Moses to strike the rock on which I stood and water came forth so that you could drink and not thirst. Ha <laughs> ha! The Lord said, take up your rod, Grace. Take up your prior shawl. Take it up and strike the rock so water will come forth. Take up your prior shawl and strike the rock. Oh, praise God. What a good God. Oh, Jesus, you love me too much. Oh, too much. Oh, too much. Oh, excess love. Oh, Jesus, you love me too much. Oh, too much. Oh, too much. Oh, excess love. Oh, your love is kind. Your love, your love is faithful. Yeah, you fill my heart with so much peace and joy. You are amazing. The Lord said, take up your prior shawl, grace, and strike. Amen. So let me continue reading. As I turn to leave, I heard the voice of God say, look closely. I looked left of the cloud that was shaped like Mount Horeb and beheld several creatures of, of um, several, several cloud formations depicting creatures of dark evil, representations of the devil, that old wretch, as declared in the Bible, the serpent, the scorpion and the dragon and the old wretched lodge emblem, the crow or the owl. See picture 2268 at 643 p.m. O 30924. Oh, praise God, the blood of Jesus. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about, my precious children. What a mighty God we serve. All right, I'm hoping by the blood of Jesus, you will get to see this one. Mm, look at that. See the old wretch? The old wretch is continuing to, to prevent the photos from showing. Okay, you might not be able to see everything, but what it is that's going on here, is there's a represented scorpion up top, there's a dragon, there's a crow, and there's a snake. The snake is over here. And all these are depictions of evil. There's a snake, there's a scorpion, there's a dragon, and there's a nasty, wretched crow. I used to tell the seeds of the serpent, I hate those birds. There are some birds that have been used by the devil, and I hate those crows. And they don't come near me anymore, because I will set them ablaze with fire from the altar of the living God. So as you can see a little bit, the snake is here, the scorpion is there, the crow is there, and, and there is the, uh, uh, the dragon. And if you recall the, the photo of Mount Horeb, the photo of Mount Horeb, there is Mount Horeb. Mount Horeb is the, is the, is the hand, the mountain of God. It looks like, it looks like a, like a hand. It's the mountain of God. And I heard the voice of God say, oh, praise God. 
the creatures must bow before the mountain of God. Those four unclean demonic representations of the devil were actually bowing before Mount Horeb. They were bowing before the mountain of God. They appeared to dissipate or scatter as the light of the sun. Ooh, the word of God said the, the sun, the Lord Yeshua, he shines brighter than the sun. So as the sun was setting and it shone on Mount Horeb, Mount Horeb, which is the mountain of God, had a crescented pink bright yellow top but those four unclean creatures they were all dark they were bowing to the mountain of the lord i watched as mount horeb cloud continued to radiate the light of the sun even though it was well over the horizon and the creatures that were bowing before the throne of God, before Mount Horeb, oh God, had begun to become dark and sinister. The mountain, the light on the mountain of the Lord destroyed the creatures of dark evil, of ill will, of ill intention, of malaise, of misfortune. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. I heard the voice of God say, my father, I will destroy the enemies in your life, Joseph. I will destroy the enemies in your life, Faith. I will destroy the enemies in your life, Kaylee. I will destroy the enemies in your life, Grace. I will destroy the enemies in your life, Addie. I will destroy the enemies in your life, Anthony. I will destroy the enemies in your life, Dijanice. I will destroy the enemies in your life, all my missing children. Hallelujah and amen. Lord Yeshua, I take you at your word. Everything you have promised, everything you have spoken, everything you have shown and sealed in visions to me and to my children, you are able to perform and you are able to fulfill because you are faithful. Hallelujah. As it is written, so let it be done. According to Psalms 147, verses 1 through 3. And I'll end here, my children. It says, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is terrible. Ha <laughs> Joseph. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. Oh, praise God. Those people represented by the dragon, by the serpent, by the scorpion, by the crow spirit, the lodge spirit, the wretches of the Freemason. The Lord God said, I will destroy them, oh my God, from out of your life. He shall subdue them and he shall trample on them. I thank the Lord Most High that he is faithful. He is a good God. So, my precious children, as the Sabbath has begun, I want to speak a blessing from Numbers 6, verses 23 to, through to 25 over you. The Lord bless you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his covenant, his countenance upon you and give you his peace. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. I love you and the Lord loves you more. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And remember, you are a child of the living God. And he will do what he has promised. And he is not slack. It is about to be like the Lord has said. Amen. Amen.